One morning, just before visiting hours, Tennessee Tuxedo and his friend Chumley left the zoo in their customary casual fashion. It was Tennessee's idea that if they dressed like weathermen, they could get jobs as weathermen, and so prove that they were as smart as human beings. Sure enough, when they were interviewed at the Weather Bureau... Are you sure you've had experience as weathermen? Of course we're experienced. Don't we look like weathermen? Okay, okay, go ahead. Funny thing, what they really looked like was a penguin and a wampus. Now, this is the life, Chumley. A real job. Working hard, just like people. Uh, yeah, Tennessee. Uh, but I wonder when we get our coffee break. Mm. No. Uh, you said it was going to rain week before last, and it didn't. You said it was going to rain last week, and it didn't. You said it was going to rain this week, and it didn't. <laughs> My cauliflower crop is drying up. Now I want rain. Mm. Now either you make it rain or I'll be back with this. Uh, you know, when you talked me into this job, I didn't know it was going to be so hard on my eardrum. I see. You say you think the weather business is too noisy and you want to go back to the zoo. A good idea. No, no, Chumley. We're going through with this job. And here's your first assignment. Hop out and make it rain. Okay. Just like I've been saying all along. Nothing to these jobs. Earthquake. Run for your lives, it's... Chumley. Chumley, give me that. Whoops. Gee, Tennessee, I'm terribly, awfully sorry. Uh, did it hurt? You want to know if it hurt? Of course not, Chumley. I always wear this little knot on my head. Now, uh, just what are you doing? Well, it took a little while, but I finally went to the library and found a rain-making book. I see. So you're making it rain like it says in the book. Let me see that. Oh, no, 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 Chumley. This is an Indian history book. It says some Indians believe they could make it rain by beating drummers and dancing. Yeah. Well, I'm part Indian, you know. I see. You say you're related to the Indians, eh? Well, just what kind of an Indian are you? <laughs> see, I'm a Blackfoot. A Blackfoot? Of course. That's hysterical, Chumley. Now, let's see if you can keep joking like that when the farmer comes back with his shotgun. He wants rain or else. Uh, well, if I can't drum up any rain this way, uh, how do I make it rain? How do you make it rain? Well, it's easy. You just take a little, uh, that is, uh, you pick out a big, uh, uh, you mix up some, uh, I mean, you, uh, well, you... Uh, hey, Tennessee, uh, maybe it's time we went to see the man with all the answers. Yes, Chumley, Mr. Whoopi. Hmm. And we'd better see him fast. So soon our heroes were in the office of their friend and advisor, Phineas J. Whoopi, the man with all the answers. That's it, Mr. Whoopi. We've got to make it rain. Team Poor. Well, that sounds like a college cheer. Rain, eh? Well, that's a job that can't be watered down. Sounds like we'll have to use the three-dimensional blackboard. <laughs> Gee, that's cool. Or, to be more precise, my boy, we're getting warm. Now, where did I put it? Perhaps in the closet. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Whoopee! The fabulous, fantastic, flashy, flexible, and infallible 3D BB. There, now, what was it you, uh, uh... Rain. Oh, yes, yes, indeed, rain. Well, rain comes from the clouds. Every cloud is made of millions and millions of tiny droplets of water. Like this. So light, they stay up in the sky and float around in the form of clouds. You see? Yes, of course, only how do they get down? Uh, yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, get down. Well, as the cloud floats around, the droplets bump into each other and join together until pretty soon they're too big and heavy to stay up in the sky. And then, whoopee, it rains. Fine. G great. T terrific. 
But how can we make it rain? Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, one way is to fly over a cloud and sprinkle thousands of little tiny pieces of dry ice on it. Dry ice? Uh, hey, Tennessee. <laughs> Chumley wants to know how to dry ice. Uh, dry ice? Oh, <laughs> no, no. That's just a special kind of ice, like ice cream men use to keep their ice cream cold in their trucks. When you sprinkle it on the clouds, it's called seeding, because each little seed of ice helps make the droplets grow bigger. Of course, it doesn't work every time, but that's good enough. Let's go. Stop. Take off. And soon our heroes, together with Phineas J. Whoopi, were winging their way through the sky. Okay, we're over the clouds. Chumley, take this box of dry ice chips and sprinkle them on the cloud. That's a cool job. <laughs> I see, so you think it sounds like an ice idea. Wonderful, Chumley. Now step on it. No, Chumley, no. Don't step on the cloud, you plot. Chumley! Gee, what a big first step. Uh, what happened? What happened? You tried to walk on a cloud. That's what happened. You can't do that. Not you, Chumley, a walrus. Uh, perhaps I got a little too enthusiastic. I know you got carried away. Uh, but in spite of everything, I carried out my mission. You did drop the ice on the cloud. That's great, Chumley, great. Maybe it will rain. We did it. We made it rain, rain, rain. And look, we're coming down right at the weather office. My friend will be heroes. Perhaps so. But would you kindly inform me what that noise is? That noise? Mm. That chumley is our public followers. Autograph hunter. There they are. They're the ones who made it rain. Ruined my new hairdo. Ruined my fishing. Ruined my golf game. Mm. It sounds to me like they want our scalps more than our signatures. You say they don't sound like autograph hunters. More like head hunters. Very funny, Chumley. Look at that! The big one! He looks just like a walrus! And the other one? Good grief, he's a penguin! They're not supposed to be weathermen. Let's run them out of town! Uh oh. I wonder what we ought to do now. Let's do it. You're right, Chumley. Let's get back to the zoo. Go, run, fly! Well, we failed again. Messed up. Goof. We did not goof entirely. Do not overlook the fact that we have learned something. You say we learned something. What? I wrote a poem. Rain, rain, go away. That is what some people say. Other people want a team, and when it is not, they really get screaming. But one thing we have learned that's true. The weather business isn't easy if you're a penguin or a walrus, and be it ever so humdrum, but there's no place like home. You know, Chumley, sometimes you're just too deep. 